I've got a peer-reviewed study right here that says... Mm. Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Unfulfilled YouTuber Promises, the, the worst show on YouTube. <laughs> Three months ago, I somewhat naively asked you guys to ask me anything, and uh, oh boy, did you guys really answer the call this time. Some of these questions are... Uh, yes. I also made the small mistake of promising that this video would come out a week after the first one, and uh, it's been three months, but fear not, Daddy's finally home from the shop with his cigarettes and a bunch of answers for you. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, cope with what's in front of us. Just Meta asks, what's the next game you think you'll make a playlist of on YouTube? Pretty tame. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's probably going to be RimWorld Ideology. I think that's almost certainly something that's very overdue for my channel. Uh, this was built on RimWorld, and to RimWorld we shall return. The Senate then asks, wings, breasts, or thighs, breasts? Duh. Who would choose thighs? Come on. Oh, uh, chicken parts. Yeah, st um, still breasts. Yeah. Just meta asks, what's my favorite food? Um, chicken breasts. Pickle Boy asks, are you a bum man or a tits man? Wow, this devolved quickly. Obviously, though, the answer is tits. Uh oh, and by tits I mean the small birds. Uh, so did I. Just meta asks, when will you stream next? Tomorrow. Opposite C4 says, what video are you most satisfied with? Um, I think probably my favorite video I've ever done, which is one of the least viewed, was a very short one I did years ago with my girlfriend with some solar powered lights. And that's all I'll say. I think it's called, Are These Lights Racist? is the name of the video. And it's a treat, man. I Go and dig it up, I suggest. God of the Beat asks, do I think Jesus was a tits man or an ass man? Obviously, Ch Jesus, as a man of culture, you know, an intellectual individual, was clearly a fan of the cormorant, the most majestic bird in South Africa. Can I have five bucks? No. Who sewed the dinosaur suit for your YouTube avatar? Also, what's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, the artist who drew it was uh, Kaleerful. She's a community member over on our Discord server. She's available for commissions. I highly suggest you hit her up. She's very good. And what's my favorite dinosaur? The chicken. Clearly, peak evolution right there. Jan asks if I accept the door shotgun supremacy. You're damn right I do. I wake up every morning, make my coffee, and immediately before taking the first sip, I make the sign of the S, just so that Nikita blesses me with good ballistics that day. And then he asks, do I plan to make another RimWorld series? where I add zombies to in instantly boost views by 500%. Uh, I don't know if this still counts, but three months ago, Zombie Land on RimWorld was like peak content. Um, I mean, I'm pretty good at being incredibly behind the trend, so maybe, maybe we'll dive right back in. Call Me Bo asks if I'll ever do collaborations with other content creators. The answer is absolutely yes. I have already done a few. Um, I've been on Bite Marks' podcast a few times talking about, but that's mostly for my job, like talking about war crimes and humanitarian issues. Uh, but I mean, I just did a D&D &D recording session with them, my first time ever playing it, super fun, and uh, that should hopefully be coming out over the month, and I'll be sure to share a link in the Discord server, so sign up if you want to see that. But I'm completely open to cooperation, so if you know any South African streamers or YouTubers who would play games similar to mine, please let me know, and uh, I'll do my best to get into contact with them. Just Meta then asks, will I play multiplayer games with the people in this Discord or my staff? Uh, the answer to that is a maybe probably not. Uh, the simple reason being that it's a complete nightmare to coordinate. I tried it once years ago and literally I think the second person to sign up had a swastika as his profile picture. Unusable. All the content just unusable. <laughs> so so uh, people are the worst and it makes it very difficult to do fun things. The Senate says if I had to fight one would you fight a vicar, an imam or a rabbi? Uh, you know, if I was pressed to it I'm gonna pick the vicar He's going to be clean shaven, you just know, weak ass chin, boom, bash, no scratch damage to the fingers, easiest choice of my life. Who is my anime waifu if I have one? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint everybody, I don't really watch anime at all, but I mean, if I were to choose one, if, you know, gun to my head, vicar to my throat, I'd probably go with Saitama, for reasons which I hope are obvious. Yan asks if I'm large and if I'm unemployed, and the answer to both of those questions, as you damn well know, is mind your damn business. Meta asks who my favorite Discord staff member is, and Officer C4 asks which question has caused me to sigh the hardest. I feel like those two kind of answer each other. Will the comments section subscribe to this awesome YouTuber and like this amazing video? 
Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Can I be mod? No. Can I be god? Yes. Can I have a thumbs up? Can you ask my boss for a raise? When will you record more Kenshi? Yes. Will you keep playing Tarkov until you have a fully decked out hideout? No. Oh. Oh god. How is 30% rookie numbers? Because I said so. I don't know what that's referring to. What percentage is no longer rookie numbers? Yes. What is your favorite color? Yes. How the fuck do you not have warm clothes yet? Uh, yes. How Also, how are you cold if you can just be warm? I don't know. I didn't know I had to prepare for the test. What's my favorite soup? I, The one with water in it. Adidas or Nike? Neither. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Duh. Who the fuck drinks Pepsi? Can you be a reference for when I go to university? Yes, absolutely. With pleasure. What's the wacky three digits on the back of my credit card? Yo mama. And uh, can I have mod? No. He wears them woman man clothes. Is that a question? If so, yes. Will you do a World Conquest Mountain Blade? Maybe. I kind of want to keep my series a bit shorter. They're getting a bit long. And uh, that would take some time. So maybe. Probably on stream. Maybe not as a YouTube series. Husking asks, what's the best troop lineup for Bannerlord? For example, 50% archers, 25% cavalry, infantry, etc, etc. And what's the best culture to start off as? Um, I usually pick Vlandia because you get the experience bonus. But I think the best composition for an army is honestly like 80% archers. 15% cavalry, 5% infantry, just to uh, kind of pull their infantry around and just shoot them. Matt Butman, now over on YouTube, asks, uh, Has your perspective changed on YouTube since traveling overseas? I feel the perspective of having a YouTube channel is very different with people in Asia and Europe as opposed to South Africa, as well as the differences in the audience from those countries. Side question, notice any differences in the mysterious algorithm posting in different countries? Yes, big time. My, uh, view, my videos in Korea did really well if they were long. My videos in Europe did really well if they were short. And <laughs> my videos in South Africa do not do well. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of the summary of your points. Um, the audiences also expect very different things. I think South Africa and Europe has pretty much equal expectations. They want some editing in a video. Snappy, quick, adhd fuel TikTok specimen, fucking 30-second clips. Whereas in Asia... It's longer format videos, but they're highly edited. And like, there's always something on screen. Text, animation, something. Always. So, uh, yeah, very much a different experience recording in the three different places. Also, the YouTube video questions are much more tame than the insanity over on our Discord server. Sign up. It's good. Sasha then says, I just started watching you very recently, but I have a couple of questions. Throw them out. This one's the typical one, but I'm curious what made you want, made you want to start making videos. Um, I was 23 in YouTube, in YouTube, in university, on YouTube most of my day, and I realized, you know what, I, instead of watching content, let me make content. Um, and so I started playing games, and instead of feeling guilty for not, like, studying, I felt like I was being productive during my procrastination. And it honestly improved my grades quite a, quite a bit, because uh, when I finally got to studying, I was relaxed and refreshed, and I felt like I had a creative outlet. Um, I used to do a lot of metal work, and I wasn't able to do that in my little, you know, student digs. So uh, it was pretty cool to have just sort of some sort of outlet. Uh, then she says, I asked because even going back and watching your first ones, you have a sort of confidence that I've never seen in smaller YouTubers before. So I'm curious how you started off making really good content when it usually takes people a while before they get really good at it like you. Sasha, have you watched my very first video? Greetings, people of unassumed gender. I am, unfortunately, largely unemployed. So welcome to the first video of my new YouTube channel. That was not the voice of a confident man. I must have re-recorded that first episode of Planet Base all those years ago, 16, 17 times. Easy. And I even chose Planet Base because I thought it was a game no one would watch. Because I was so convinced it was going to be garbage, I didn't want anyone to see it. Why I made it? That's a good question. The human mind is a mystery. So please don't think I came out confident. It literally took, like, I'm going to guess about 16, 17 attempts to get that garbage out. So don't be too harsh on yourself if you're considering doing this. The most important thing with starting a YouTube channel is to make videos. Just put them out there. People will watch them. At the beginning, it's just love. You don't have haters. You're too small for haters. So everything is just positive and wonderful. And I really recommend it to anyone who's considering. Number two was, how time-consuming is it really to make YouTube videos? And have you ever had moments where you've seriously considered stopping? 
Um, this video is probably going to take me about five or six hours to put together, including the editing, uploading, encoding time. Um, most of my gameplay videos, like for example the Escape from Tarkov ones I've been doing recently, those probably clock about five hours per, so it's almost a full day per video. Because you have to watch through the footage, edit it, um, then you have to wrap that up, you know, encode the file, upload the file, do the editing on the YouTube side, get the music in order, make sure the copyright isn't a problem. There's a lot of layers to it. Uh, and the recording, of course, itself takes a few hours. So each video takes like small chunks of time, but it adds up to about five or six hours on average for me. I'm sure I could do it faster, but I'm still learning. And have I ever considered stopping? Absolutely. I've actually stopped three times at already. I, I started off for about a year and a half. Um, I recorded every day, put videos out almost every day. Uh, after my ARC series tanked, I kind of just stopped gaming in total. Um, for about a year, then I moved to South Korea. I finally had a bit more time, a bit more. You know, I was when I when I stopped, I was also in the middle of like my second law degree, which was uh, much more intense. It was like a postgraduate thing. And then when I moved to South Korea, I just you know I was working, didn't have much free time, but I had some. So what I would do is I'd record when I got home, and then in between classes, because I was an English teacher, I would just edit. Um, and you know that sort of got a bit of it. That's when the Kaibless Heroes Kenshi series came out, which is one of my most successful, and the Rimworld Last Stand, also one of my most successful. I think it's the second most successful series on the channel. And so you know that sort of got me back into it. Then I moved to Switzerland, started my master's degree in humanitarian law. That took that was like a 12-hour day every day. So I stopped um, until the holidays came around December, and I was like, well, you know what? I got time. Booted it up bought Tarkov, um, carried on the, started the Mountain Blade series, and just sort of kept going since then. So yeah, I've stopped twice. K Swall says, due to the current economic climate and surrounding political insurgencies, based off of your areas of expertise and experiences thus far, both on the metaphysical and intellectual levels, kindly advise if you believe now is a suitable time to <laughs> invest in Dogecoin <laughs> or come to terms with the fact that vaccines cause autism. Um, well, taking into account all of the relevant factors, the current economic climate, and uh, the state of the world at the moment, I would definitely assume that the answer is yes. Any tips on how to get a higher skill level in games, IRL I mean, I think you're above the larger YouTube channels by a ton, not gonna lie, strategy and tactically wise. It's very kind of you, thank you. I think I'm garbage at games to be honest, but maybe that's part of it. Um, the best way to get better at a game IRL, and this is always the answer people give, is to play it. You just got to sink some hours in. Uh, but I mean, realistically, if you want to like work on it, record your gameplay. OBS is free. You can buy it. Or you can download it online. And uh, yeah, you just watch your video back, see where you made mistakes, and try and work on those areas. How are things between you and Aishi? You guys left us to dethrone an empire and ended up mitigating an arms race. Your vibes are unmatched. Well, thank you, Case. Well. Uh, we're great. We're doing fantastic. We're happy to be back in SA for a bit, but a sunlight definitely has been missed. And uh, yeah, we, we have had a very exciting three years. That's true. First of all, how am I? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Second, when will you start a Minecraft series? Why would you put that out there? Why would you put that into the universe? Why? Minecraft series is where this channel will finally succeed, and I'm not ready for that kind of pressure. And third, what is machete fencing? Oh, Oh, okay, that's really easy. So what you do is you get two dudes with huge Roses are red. I have a big toe. What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. Uh, this one's been a long time coming. Sorry it took so long. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, your questions crack me up. I love doing these. We'll do another AMA around 2K subs, and uh, once I break that promise, we'll actually do the video. Much love, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.